Hey guys, so we're here at Orlando International Airport to start our journey to the Philippines. Today is gonna to be a 25 hour long day of traveling. If you guys have wondered what it's like to travel to Asia, this video is for you. So definitely hit that like and subscribe. And let's go through TSA. So for today's adventure, like I said earlier, we're gonna be flying for 25 hours and luckily included in my cards is this lounge. So in the lounge you have complimentary food and drinks, so it's a little bit more comfortable and should help with this 25 hour journey. Um, first flight is here to Atlanta and then Atlanta to Seoul, South Korea and then Seoul, South Korea to the Philippines. So it's gonna be a long one. So we have about an hour and a half to kill in this lounge before our first like appetizer flight of like an hour and a half before we board honestly the kind of scary it's like 15 and a half hours so yeah <laughs> oh they have my favorite thing in any airport lounge unlimited gummy bears Also, if you're wondering how to get into Club MCO, this one's actually included with Priority Pass, which is part of some major credit cards, and that's how we're here. And yeah, it's actually a really nice perk. One of the best perks about this place is it's so much more quiet than being outside. They have like some nice music playing, and then you also have private Wi-Fi, and of course, unlimited gummy bears. Also, the drinks are included. Emma, how are you liking the lounge? The, the chaos. Ugh. It's so chaotic in here. And an hour later, we're here in Atlanta. I don't know why, but like they always put it for like, oh yeah, it's gonna be an hour and a half to get to somewhere, and it's, somehow they fly faster. I don't know. Also, why does everyone keep the sunshades closed the whole time? Landing shouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> I always forget how big this airport is. It's legit like a mall that happens to have planes go by. <laughs> All right, so this this is the long one. I'm actually really excited for this flight because it's on board Korean Air, which I've never flown before. And I've also heard that it has like some of the best food on an airplane in the world. So I'm really excited. Also, it's a Boeing 747. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. This is a big plane. But yeah, I think it's a 747. It looks like it. It has that iconic like bump on the top. As the second floor, we're not gonna be up there. We're flying the economy. So, ever wonder what normal people fly when they go international and how that's like versus like every other YouTuber that takes first class? Because you know that's realistic. You're about to find out. <laughs> to put it in perspective, this is what like a normal plane looks like, and this is the plane that we're taking. So, it's a little bit bigger. And the crazy part is, there's planes much, much bigger than this. All right, Ma, you ready? 15 hours. <laughs> All right, this is home sweet home for 15 hours. Ready, Ma? Look at your free headphones. So nice. <laughs> <laughs> and we have windows. <laughs> There's cup holders. There's a remote. Fancy. Oh. <laughs> what is this? I wonder if I can play Connect 4 on this. When I went to Australia, I played Connect 4 for 12 hours. <laughs> also, as part of the economy, we get slippers and a blanket. So, I guess it's encouraged to take your shoes off. Look at these fancy slippers. They look like my Yeezy Pods. Show sure, my Yeezy Pods. Yeah. That's actually really nice. There's a lot of legroom. Like
finally made it here to Seoul, South Korea. It was about 15, well, like 14 and a half hours. Like the pilot flew faster. Again, not complaining. And honestly, it really wasn't that bad of a flight. Like we watched a bunch of movies, ate a ton of food. The food is so good on it. Even though the last meal wasn't the best, but our first one was our favorite. The first one was a bibimbap that had like pickles and just, it was, it was really good. It was also a long time ago, so I'm trying to re-remember it, like 14 hours later. And then um, also they had this like ham and cheese sandwich that was unexpectedly really good. I don't know why that tasted so much better than like a normal ham and cheese sandwich. So Korean Airlines has always been known for like having the best airline food and I can definitely see why. <laughs> it was really, really good. And again, this was economy. This isn't like first class or business class or anything this is straight up economy food so the comparison to americans would be like the salisbury steak or like mystery beat stuff that we get in our airline food compared to this so yeah so now we're just hanging out in seoul south korea we got about a three hour layover before our last flight to the philippines here they have three lounges we're just gonna hang out enjoy more korean food and uh yeah just kind of uh, just enjoying this journey I slept a lot on that flight, so I'm feeling really good. Oh, also one really weird thing. If you ever fly internationally, if you leave during the day, the entire flight is daytime. So like for us, the entire flight, all 14 hours looked like it was noon because we left at 11 and then we arrived here at like 2 p.m. So it was, it was daytime the whole time. So they actually ask you to like close the shutters and then they simulate like a full day cycle using the lights inside. It's really cool, but just something to, to note if you do travel internationally. shopping because this terminal has three priority pass access lounges so we decided to move to one that's closer and this one was crazy there's a lot more people in here but they also had a lot more food they had like bibimbap and like all these great korean dishes and sodas and drinks it was really really nice also a robot and uh oh the locker too which was really really convenient so really really nice and it's almost time for our last flight And that's gonna be a wrap from us here on this 25 hour journey across the world. We're here at the Mandarin Hotel now, We're checking in. It is 1.30 in the morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Uh, if you wanna follow along on this crazy Filipino slash Tokyo adventure, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.